G'day gang, Game Audio Dan here. How you going? We're back in the arcade Unchained. Riding over here towards that town. Vehicle conductor. The Crescent Throne. I've got a workbench over here. What's this all about? Craftable items, pets and mounts. Collection reward. How do I... You need one of those? Right. Some pet armor. Okay. So you need little bits and pieces to create this. Labor cost is quite high. I've got labor of a zero, so... Guess it's a bit early for that. Oh, let's just follow this arrow then. Lucius. I talk to Lucius every time I see him. Seems to have some interesting things to say. Why is this thing glowing? Another ah workbench. Okay, crafting. Yes, gotcha. Hopefully, we get a little tutorial quest or something that'll explain how that all works. Alright. Captain Marion is in Blue Mist Forest. Prepare a carriage and clear the way. Yes, sir. I just brought my horse in here. Is that a problem? <laughs> I just dismiss him. I'm sorry, stranger, but I'm very busy. Speak to a guard if you need to report a crime. Sir, I bring a message from Malthus. A group of bloodhounds was murdered near my village, and Malthus says that someone named Lucius Quinto is responsible. Malthus? I haven't heard that name in years. But Lucius Quinto, you say? If that's true, then things are far more serious than we realized. We've been combating the Blood Hands for quite some time now, attempting to limit their influence here. But their appearance in Blue Mist is unheard of. And if Malthus is right, it has clearly angered some very important people. This kind of audacity cannot go unanswered. Dan, I need you to deliver this letter to Coast Guard Captain Baker at Crescent Port. Tell him the time has come to move on, Moonswept Bay. The Bloodhands are dangerous criminals, and our men could use all the help they can get. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to assist in our operations there. I feel up to it. Damn those Bloodhands! They killed King Peridin, and you got a horse in here, I and kidnapped the young princess. And now they're waging open war with the Crescent Throne! You say they were looking for you, right? Oh. Why not join up with us, and take the fight to them? I'll admit, their leaders are clever. They partially collapsed the old Reed Gate, cutting off the route out, or to the mainland. But we've got more than enough boats to send our troops around the point. If you want to join our fight, go speak to Doc Supervisor Ooh down at the Crescent Throne Port. He'll set you up with a boat. Oh, and tell him Captain Ake sent you. Everyone's just throwing potions at me. I like it. Got 28 healing potions now. Alright, so... I'd imagine we're going in the same direction. I might just walk through this... Through this area. Sentry? I just wonder if I should be looking into... Picking up, say, you know, some professions or not. Or just not worry about it. 
Librarian Madam Olinga. She's got nothing to say to me. Oh, there's some blue mist over here. Mirage Isle Portal. Oh, we got an auctioneer. Yeah. One handed weapon. Daggers. Let's see how much they go for. A memory cutter. Why would I want that? I got saying that is 120. Oh, where equipment points is 120. What's my DPS? 90.9. Durability, it's a little bit better, but I mean, I guess it's got some stats on it stamina, intelligence, spirit. And the DPS says actually 43.8. I got 90.9. .9. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if I need to. Anyway, that's the auction house. Probably have to spend some time there as well. Oh, there is a this a back way. There is a path over here leading out to the docks. And in over here. All right. Set the recall point. All right. Well, anyway, we probably should just head off. To the docks. So this is the way to the docks. This com commercial district. I can probably just jump over this fence. Is there a path down there? Yes, there is. All right. We're a shadow blade. We should be able to do this Assassin's Creed style. There's a dock worker down there. Fisherman. Angler. Alright, I thought you might teach me how to fish or something. We'll go for a little trot. you across a river or even the ocean look for a fairy NPC to receive a fairy quest okay well maybe I'll get that right now Coast Guard Captain Baker no message from General Gavannon finally I've been itching to go after those filthy bloodhounds Hmm. It says here the general also offered you a chance to help us. Have you settled on an answer yet? The bloodhounds were looking for me in Blue Mist Forest, and I need to know why. If it means finally getting some answers, I'll join you. When you visited the stern-looking general, your rune burned with new memories. You saw guards in similar armor posted around Iana's house. As she shyly showed Lucius the home, half apologizing for its extravagance. The guards glared suspiciously. Though a well-received playwright, Lucius was still a commoner. In another memory, her father sternly reminded her that she was expected to marry within her rank. In yet another, Iana and Lucius agreed to meet again in secret. She said she knew that being famous, he was surrounded by many women and might not want the hassle of dating a noble's daughter. But just in case, she'd bought a ring to symbolize their love. Lucius put it on and kissed her. Okay. 
Sorry, Captain Baker. I, my mind kind of drifted off for a second there. Glad to hear you're with us. As your first mission, I want you to head across the bay and deliver these orders to Officer Chloe. I sent her to assess the Blood Hand presence there, and I fear she's run into some trouble. If you need a boat, the dock supervisor will give you one. But be careful. The bay is likely crawling with blood hands. Help Officer Chloe establish a beachhead, and let her know that reinforcements are on the way. Now, get moving. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Oh, oh. another eager recruit from Captain AK. He seems to have a knack for enlisting the unwary. Have you come to pick out a boat then? The Blood Hands are covering the bay with their cannons, trying to stop us from landing our troops around the point. But if you take a smaller rowboat, you should be able to avoid their notice. Just pick from the rack of rowboats there and head west. Any of them will do. And remember, if you hear cannons, you jump overboard. I don't care what they say in the sailors' stories, no boat's worth dying for. Alright. No going down with the ship, eh? Uh, I'll choose a boat from over here. Alright, oh, they're right in front of me. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, uh, this one looks like a good one. Just pick it up. If you're near water, you can summon a boat. However, if you move away from the water, the summoning will automatically be cancelled. If your boat is destroyed in battle, you will be temporarily unable to summon it. Cool. Oh, so I, I don't need to talk to anybody, I just jump in the water. What about if I just, yeah, just, I kind of just... In water, you... Sorry. <laughs> kind of just jumped in there, didn't I? Oh, there we go, look at that. Oh, row, row, row your boat. Alright, how do we do this? Come on, turn it. Okay, <laughs> turn. All right, let's get. Can we get some speed on this thing? Magically marks a device with the owner's fingerprints, preventing anyone else from using it until the magic fades. Oh, okay. I guess. Uh, I guess this is the pace we're going. Come on, buddy, faster. Faster, I need some drums. I need a dude on the back here just hitting the drums. Uh, this looks like about the speed we can go. There's another person over there. I wonder if you get some power-ups or something. Or maybe you get a bigger boat. Maybe you can summon, maybe summon one of these things. at the beach. Oh, there we go. Just turn it a little bit. So what happens if somebody takes your boat? Can't you just... You just... Okay. Maybe you can't dismount. I mean, sorry. Um, I imagine you could re-summon it. Oh, I lit a lamp. Okay. I'll do that anyway. Officer Chloe. You've got some guts rowing your way over here. Did the captain send you? More of those vermin come over from the burnt castle every day. And he's just putting a strike force together. What are they thinking? Bloodheads of cannons sent up along the beach and they're blasting our ships before we can make landfall. We've been holding our own out here, but it's only a matter of time before we're overrun. Alright. I'll take some of that. By your equipment, I can see you're not an official recruit, but my scout was killed hours ago, and you're all I've got to work with. 
There's something strange going on here, and I don't want Captain Blake walking into an ambush. The Bloodhounds are dragging people out of those tents and killing them. I assumed it was a mutiny of some sort, but now I'm not so sure. Make yourself useful. Go examine the victims and see if you can figure out what's going on. I just see a dude walking and... That guy's still got a... He's got a horse in his back. Okay. Infusion synthesis. Infusions and, synth and enhancers can be used to in synthesis to upgrade equipment. Click gear upgrade at the bottom of your bag to open the synthesis window. Okay, this is what I was looking at before. Oh, well, maybe we need to open this bag first. Another crate. Uh, synthesis materials. Alright, so we put these on. Nice, nice. Filling out our set here. Uh, synthesis. Bottom of the bag. Right, is it? But I can't use anything yet. I think it's just something I have to play around with later and there's nothing I can use, I don't think. Story quest infusion, rank one acquired. Used as a synthesis material to enhance equipment. Infuse the energy to identify the hidden infusion. Uh... To be explored later. Carl, so my family sent you. Well, that puts me in a bit of a situation. You see, I came out here looking for my missing cousin. His wife was killed by blood hands, and he probably has some mad ideas of revenge. But one thing led to another, and I wound up promising these brave Coast Guard lads that I'd stay and help them defend the shoreline. You look like an adventurer. You know how it is, I'm sure. Anyway, now I'm bound and determined to see this thing through. But you're fighting the Blood Hands too, right? Could you hack your way through to the other side of our camp and find my cousin Pied? I'm sure he's further west up the beach. You got it, Cal. Let's go. Gotta examine some victims anyway. Oh, we've got some Blood Hands right here. Alright, let's, let's get this sorted out. And then we'll sort this guy out. Why are they killing people with Golden Mark? What does it mean? Perhaps that Blood Hand Duelist has the answers. Oh, he's died. He didn't go. <laughs> he didn't fall to his knees, and uh, he's not waiting to be interrogated. He's just simply dead. So that's rank three now. What else we got? Passive. Become void. Evasion rate plus 5%. Sounds good. That requires three. Okay. It's not quite there yet. Don't think there's anything else I can use this on. Alright. Let's get this guy. Early bird system. You can turn in a quest even if you haven't finished all of its objectives. You'll receive all of the XP and item rewards, but reduce gold rewards. Okay. That's interesting. So I could take out one and then hand it in. That's it. And move on.
on the other side, you can also go beyond. Because I had... Well, let's have a look what happens now. Yeah, there you go, 6 and 5. monsters are easier to defeat by fighting in a party. Right-click the target bar of another player and select Invite to Party to send an invite. Captains are down. All right, let's go and hand in the report. So they're mentioning that, I imagine, where you got a boss fight coming up. You can earn bonus gold by exceeding a quest objective. Cal. You did it! You killed the Blood Hand Captain! Well done, friend. With him dead, we may just stand a chance here after all. I'll be sure to tell the general what you did when he and his men arrive. You just give me some boots. Or you gave me some shabby gear. Well. Don't think that outweighs what I've got over there. So I'm not sure why you gave me. Uh, but it does have move speed plus 5%. Unidentified item. Honest shout required. Acquired. The honest shout. Uh, that is a one-handed weapon. It does. 53 DPS. I think I'll just stick with my dagger then. A bottle of Shurama. Plate armor. I got better defense of my other item. Go to Souls Reed Peninsula and find the new end with the gold mark. Eliminate any who attempt to stop you. And have no fear of the Crescent Throne. The Ring of Nui must be retrieved. I saw you take down that Blood Hand Duelist from here. Maybe you're not useless after all. I hope that document you snatched was worth it. Those Blood Hands have always avenged a fallen brother. Let's see. A golden birthmark. The Ring of Nui. What does all this mean? I overheard your conversation with Olaf Officer Chloe. If you really want to know what the enemy is up to, you should use one of our hypnotic staffs on the blood hands. Of course. I didn't know any of them survived the wreck. Good thing, King Chuggin. <laughs> Chuggin? His name's Chuggin. The hypnotic staff was invented by a famous battle mage named Malvus. He wanted to help the guards, but he despised torture in any form. Use it on the blood hands, and they'll tell you everything you want to know. Right. I like it. Uh, if I could just get up here. Oh, is it one? Just gotta go find a random jewel. It's not like a capture one, is it? Okay. You! You there! Well, what is this? Don't kill me! Why are you killing those people? Who are you looking for? One of New is chosen as a ring. Our next target is Sloan in Lacton. What did you do? I'll kill you! Sloan. Sloan is who we need. So they're killing anyone who has a golden mark. All to find this so-called Ring of Nui. That's barbaric. These blood hands are the reason I'm here in the first place. I came to the Crescent Throne to report that a group of them had been murdered near my village. And now I think they were there to kill me, like these others. As you interrogated the blood hand, more memories pressed in on you. You'd held them back until you'd finished with the man then stumbled under their emotion. You saw another interrogation, except this one took place at a trial, 
before a mob of thousands. Lucius stood chained on a platform. It was his fate the trial was meant to decide. He'd written something controversial, something bordering on heresy. Some in the mob were screaming for his head. You swallowed, vividly recalling the lump of worry in Yana's throat as the verdict neared. Before it was read, the memory faded, and with it, the rune's glowing sensation. Couldn't understand what Yana's memories had to do with your birthmark. But it burned every time you experienced one. Damn it! I won't allow these maniacs to keep killing people! Dan, you're no more use to me here. Ride hard for Lacton and find Fisherman Tugger. Maybe together you can track down this Sloan person before the Bloodhands do. Don't worry about us. My men and I can hold out until reinforcements arrive. You just focus on getting to Lacton and preventing another murder. Now, get going. The road to the village is dangerous, so take this Lacton memory tome with you. A, uh, what? A scroll from Coast Guard Officer Chloe that will transport you to Lacton on the Salisbury Peninsula. Alright. Oh, 